Chapter 1, Lesson 2, Complex Fractions and Unit Rates. Today you will be able to simplify complex fractions and find unit rates. Fractions like 20 divided by 1 half are called complex fractions. Complex fractions are fractions with a numerator, denominator, or both that are also fractions. Complex fractions are simplified when both the numerator and denominator are integers. Letter A, simplify. One-fourth divided by two. I'm going to rewrite that as a division problem. One-fourth divided by two. And what I'm going to do with that denominator is actually turn it into a fraction. So I'm actually dividing two fractions. And then I can use my normal rules. I will not divide. I will multiply by the reciprocal. We always leave the first fraction alone, but we flip the second fraction and multiply as normal. 1 times 1 is 1 over. 4 times 2 is 8. So your answer is 1 eighth, and it can't be simplified anymore. Letter B. 1 divided by 1 half, 1 over 1, I'm changing it to a fraction, divided by 1 half. If you look at the problem, that division bar is slightly larger than the one in the denominator. This is how I can tell where my division symbol would go. So 1 divided by 1, I will not divide, I will multiply by the reciprocal. Again, changing the second fraction only. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 over 1 reduces to 2. Simplify. 2 over 1 divided by 2 thirds. I will not divide. I will multiply by the reciprocal. 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. Letter D. 6 over 1 divided by 1 third. I will not divide. I will multiply by the reciprocal. 6 times 3 is 18. 1 times 1 is 1. And this simplifies to the integer 18. Letter E. 2 thirds divided by 7 over 1. But I will not divide. I will multiply by the reciprocal. 2 times 1 is 2 over 3 times 7 is 21. This cannot be simplified. Letter F. 2 fourths divided by 2 over 1. I will not divide. I will multiply by the reciprocal. 2 times 1 is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. I can reduce this by dividing top and bottom by 2 and getting a final answer of 1 fourth. Find unit rates. When the fractions of a complex of complex fractions represent different units, you can find the unit rate. Cross up that A there is a typo. Josiah can jog one and one third miles in one fourth hour. Find his average speed in miles per hour. That means miles is the numerator, hours is the denominator. Now, I don't want to deal with mixed numbers, so I'm going to take any mixed numbers that I have and change them into improper fractions. So let's take a look at one and one third, and I'm going to do that off on the bottom here. One and one third. Multiply, you get 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4, so 4 thirds is the improper fraction. 4 thirds represents the miles, 
So my numerator is 4 thirds divided by 1 fourth is the hour. So that is the denominator. Again, I'm going to rewrite this as a division problem. 4 thirds divided by 1 fourth. I will not divide, I will multiply by the reciprocal. 4 times 4 is 16, 3 times 1 is 3. My last step here is to change it back to a mi mixed number. To do that, we use long division. Top number always goes in the box. So 3 into 16, 5 times, minus 15, we have a remainder of 1. So this changes to 5 and 1 third, our units are miles per hour. Letter B. Tia is painting her house. She paints 34 and a half square feet in 3 fourths hour. At this rate, how many square feet can she paint each hour? So we have square feet on the top in the numerator and hour in the denominator. I don't want to deal with mixed numbers, so let's change that. 34 times 2 is 68, plus 1 is 69. Keep our denominator of 2. And this 69 over 2 represents our square feet, so that is our numerator. And our denominator is 3 fourths hour. Let's rewrite this as a division problem. 69 over 2 divided by 3 fourths. I will not divide. I will multiply by the reciprocal. 69 times 4, let's do that work off to the side. 4 times 9 is 36. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 3 is 27. So our numerator is 276. And our denominator, 2 times 3 is 6. Let's divide this out. 6 into 276. 6 goes into 27 4 times, which is 24. Subtract and get 3. Bring down the 6. 6 into 36, 6 times, evenly. So our answer here is 46 square feet per hour. So square feet per hour. And that is a unit rate. Letter C. Mr. Ito is spreading mulch in his yard. He spreads four and two thirds square yards in two hours. How many square yards can he mulch per hour? So we have square yards per hour. Let's change this mixed number. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. So this is 14 thirds, which is our square yards. Our hours is 2, or 2 over 1. Let's change this into a division problem. 14 thirds divided by 2 over 1. What I will not divide, I will multiply by the reciprocal. The first fraction stays the same. We find the reciprocal of the second fraction. 14 times 1 is 14. 3 times 2 is 6. Let's do our division to change this into a mixed number. 6 goes into 14 twice, minus 12, we get a remainder of 2. So it would be 
2 and 2 sixths. However, I can reduce 2 sixths by dividing out a 2. So this would be 2 and 1 third. And the units are square yards per hour. Letter D. Aubrey can walk four and a half miles in one and a half hours. Find her average speed per hour. So again, we're doing miles over hours. We need to change this time both the miles and the hours into improper fractions. Four and one half. Four times two is eight. Plus one is nine. So that's nine over two. One and one half. One times two is two. Plus one is three. So this is three halves. Change it to division. Nine halves divided by three halves. I will not divide. I will multiply by the reciprocal. Nine times two is eighteen. Two times three is six. And eighteen divided by six works out evenly to be three. Our units, miles per hour. Thank you.